Hey everybody, welcome to Kevin's Card Collecting and more. Give me one second here while I get the feed up on my laptop so I can actually read the chat. I did this <clears throat> I did this on my last live stream and I've already forgotten how I get into the the back channel. I may just have to go back to the regular account here. One second. Okay, so we've got a couple folks in here. We've got uh, Classic Cards is saying, hmm, probably responding to the title of the stream. And 2K Baller for Life, what will you be opening? Well, I've got a little bit of everything. I've got some baseball, because that's primarily what I do is baseball. Uh, I got a little bit of a, well, it's a grab bag from the local Goodwill store. I'll talk more about this here in a bit. And I've had this box, guys, for a few months now, and I've been itching to open it and looking for a good excuse to open it. And seeing as though next week is the Daytona 500, I probably won't be streaming next Sunday because I'll be watching the race. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to crack open a box of 91 Max race cards, uh, really old NASCAR cards. And I've never opened these up before, so I really have no idea what to expect. Um, but it is cards, and since my channel is Kevin's Card Collecting, it falls within the <laughs> the range of what I do. Yeah, classic. Goodwill pack. It looks sealed <laughs> and unopened. Yeah, that's uh, straight from the factory, classic. What do you think? You know, when the president said that he wants our country to be more transparent, um, I think tops took him literally. <laughs> <clears throat> this bag looks like it's been through a war. Um staples upon staples it's it's it may have been searched for all i know um this was actually i'll be honest with you it was given to me by a good friend of mine from my local church who just this morning surprised me with it i didn't expect to have this for today but this morning at church i showed up and they said hey you do baseball cards right i said yeah well we picked this up at the uh goodwill store the other day in fact the goodwill price tag is stamped with the 7th of february on it so um, the good thing about it is what Goodwill does is they have different color tags and different days of the week they have promotions. So he said that two days ago, the purple tags were 50% off. So instead of $4.99, he paid $2.50, which you can't really beat that for you know a grab bag of cards. And so far, I've had some decent luck with my Goodwill cards. Um, no big hits per se, but lots of Hall of Famers. So... Yeah, we'll see what that's all about. And it looks like there is a football card on the back, so there may be a mixture of football and baseball. And I don't know much uh, about football cards at all, but we'll see what we get. should be fun. And uh, let's see. Maybe you'll find a Frank Thompson. You never know because it is 90 tops. So there's – and I, I, I'm saying, let's see, about that much is 90 tops. So you never know. And then there's some 89 tops here. Maybe you'll get a good – uh, Randy Johnson, rookie card or something out of that one. So we'll see. And hey, Danny and Grays is with us. Good to see you, buddy. Today's the day, Danny. I'm going to do it. I'm, I've devoted this whole episode to just this one bag of baseball cards, followed by my Max race cards. Um, enough's enough. I've been procrastinating on this long enough. Just got to do it. So, yeah. We'll give it a couple more minutes. I've got five people on the stream right now. I'm going to give it a couple more minutes to see uh, if anybody else shows up. If not, we're going to start ripping into them anyways. I'm going to do the baseball first just uh, because it's sort of a mess. and uh, I, I, I want to kind of get this out of the way. Um, yeah. But we'll, we'll see. Again, I don't know what all is in here. There may be some. Well, there is definitely some football based on that back card. Uh, who is it? Uh, Javon Kersey for the Titans, I think. But, uh, yeah. Okay, Danny's at the store. Well, that's okay, Danny, because I'm going to open the baseball cards first. So that uh, may give you time to finish up your Sunday shopping. And I'm sure this is going to take a while, so even if you show up in the middle of it, there'll still be a lot of left, a lot of time left on it. 
But I appreciate you jumping in, Danny. It means a lot to me that you showed up. And again, guys, like I said, probably next Sunday I will not be doing a live stream because I will be watching the Daytona 500. So I've already got that on my schedule. No one's going to bother me. I've already told my friends and family, don't bother calling me. I'm not going to answer my phone. I'm just going to sit down and watch the race. So that's why I want to get these cards opened up this week and kind of get us in the mood for NASCAR, kind of get us uh, re-familiar with some of the names and uh, just the whole concept of the sport. So, Peds, card collections in the house. Good to see you, buddy. Thanks for jumping in. And I still haven't done anything to my backdrop. I, If you guys remember, the other day I opened up the uh, Topps 2020 boxes, and I want to include these uh, boxes somewhere in my display back there. I just haven't figured out yet where I'm going to put it, what I'm going to replace. Um... But yeah, if you guys didn't see that, that was a phenomenal video. I uh, I got hits out of just about everything. I opened up a jumbo pack, a hanger box, and a blaster box. And it was pretty, pretty awesome. So, uh, let's see. Sounds good. See you in a bit if you can consider a spot in our break tomorrow night. One spot left. Uh, can you consider a spot in our break tomorrow night? One spot left. Um, yeah, Danny. Um, I, I'm surprised I missed that. I, I apologize. I didn't know about it. Let me, um, yeah, I'll, I'll get with you more about that, Danny. But yes, I am intrigued. I'm interested. Thank you for, uh, that little shout out there. $25 probably won't break the bank. So I, I'll be honest with you, I haven't even really... Okay, for you guys, those of you who missed the very beginning, this pack of cards here was a total surprise to me. This morning I went to church, and a local uh, a friend from church said, Hey, you do baseball cards, right? I said, yeah. And he goes, well, I found these at the Goodwill store, and I thought you might appreciate them. He said they're $4.99, but on whatever day it was, two days ago, I guess that would have been Friday... Um, he said, or yesterday, maybe Saturday. Anyway, they were having a sale. All purple tags were 50% off. So this being a purple tag made this $250 instead of 5 bucks. So $250 for a grab bag of cards. In the past, those of you who have seen my Goodwill card videos, I've done pretty good on the Goodwill bags, actually. Um, nothing spectacular as far as, you know, no autographs or relics, per se. But tons and tons of Hall of Famers. So that being said, I, I hope... The status quo uh, remains, and I get some good cards out of here. So you do want a spot? I'll get your name down. Um, Danny, yes. That I'll, I'm, I'm, I'll give you my word right now. Yeah, put me down, and um, I'm good for it. Um, yeah, if you need to go ahead and fill that spot now, go ahead and put my name down. I'll take it, and I'll get with you later as far as, because I don't think I've got your PayPal. Uh, maybe Well, we've got emails amongst each other, so we can email the information. So, yeah, go ahead and put me down. Consider your break complete, and uh, we'll settle up after a little bit. Cool. Thanks, Danny. appreciate that, bud. I appreciate you thinking of me. All righty. Okay, what did Andy say? <clears throat> Two fifty. So it's like a twelve cent card uh, pack, except we're going to call it a Goodwill Super Jumbo. <laughs> yeah, a good a Goodwill Super Jumbo. <clears throat> in the new transparent packs, they come in. I'm going to give it just a couple more minutes. We're almost to two o'clock my time. I'll go ahead and crack this bag open in about three or four minutes. Give some more people a chance to jump in here. Just pretend it's cellophane, okay. <laughs> and I'd say uh, Topps' quality control has kind of gone down the tubes with the, all these staples and rips and, and tears. And, and I don't know what I bought. Did I buy 90 Tops or did I buy 89 Tops? And there's some other set... 
I can't tell what that middle... Oh, actually, it's just more 89. So it looks like... Okay, from here to here, it looks like it's 90. From here to here, it looks like it's 89. There's some more 89 here on the side, and these... I've tried to be good and not cheat. Uh, those look like more 89s facing this way. So if we do have football, it looks like all the football is going to be... No, that's another baseball. I see it. Athletic. An Oakland A's hat. So maybe just a little bit of football here on the end. So this might turn out to be a pretty decent bag. Yeah, Randy Johnson. That's what I'm thinking, Andy. That's first, When I first saw the 89 design, first thing I thought of was Randy. That would be nice for sure. Yeah, I, you know, I thought about that classic, and, and I'm, I'm sure it's possible. You know, quality control in the Goodwill store is not, you know, they don't exactly have, uh, you know, uh, presidential uh, secret service type security guards there. Um, so I guess the pack could have been searched, but by whom, really? You know, I, I don't know what true blue collector that's looking for the good stuff goes to Goodwill to dig through these bags. I don't know. So, I'm optimistic. Oh, I'm doing the pack searching. I see what you're saying. I'm doing the pack searching. Yeah, sort of. Cards look to be in decent shape. I don't see, you know, creases or dents or dings on the corners look to be okay. Uh, let me know if anyone is into football. Apparently, I do football cards. Now, how did that happen, Andy? What do you mean, apparently, you do football? Did you stumble into it, or did you choose to do it? The searchy becomes the searcher. Okay, I'm the searcher. <laughs> I, well, it's kind of like this NASCAR. I don't do NASCAR cards, but after watching Danny's channel, um, I was intrigued. And being a NASCAR fan, uh, I thought, you know, why not? So I did pick up this box, and I've just been itching to do it, find the right time to do it, and I decided today's the day to do it. But I'll be honest with you, you talk about a blessing in disguise. I was thinking, okay, what am I going to do other than this box? Am I going to devote the whole stream to this one box? That may be kind of eh, uh, short and not all that interesting for just baseball guys. And lo and behold, I went to church this morning, and I was blessed with a bag of Goodwill cards. So there you go. That kind of fills the... Uh, that gap or that void, so to speak. Hey, Jason, what's up? Andy, I bought over 170 packs at the Dollar Tree for a dollar seven. What? You bought football cards for a penny a pack? Okay, I'm going to have to go check out that video. I uploaded the explanation. All right. Wow. Holy cow, a penny a pack. I don't do football, but I would have bought those too. Wow. That's unreal. All right, guys. So, like I said, at, at the top of the hour, I was going to go ahead and start up. We've got eight people in the chat right now, which is cool. Uh, that's good enough for me. In fact, if even if just one of you guys were here, that'd be enough for me. I appreciate the support. But we are going to start ripping. I'm going to do the baseball first. I really would like Danny to be in the stream, and Danny's out shopping right now. So I'm going to give him time to wrap up what he's doing. And I'm not trying to rush him, Danny. If you're still listening, don't feel rushed, brother. But uh, um, that's what replay is for as well. So let's go ahead and start off with the baseball. Seeing as though I'd say the majority of my audience are baseball fans. So let's get to ripping. Now, I, didn't, I saw football over on this end, so I'm going to start with this end first, guys. Just because... It may not be all what you're looking for of interest. So let's pull the end cards out and see what we got. Uh, there is some baseball in here, but it, okay, it looks like there's football. There's some 89 tops baseball. Oh, that was a Dave Henderson I saw earlier with the Oakland A's. All right, so here's all the football cards. I'll see. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> Larry. A Larry Walker in the middle of football cards. Unfortunately, this thing is pretty, pretty beat up. Here I was bragging earlier about the condition, but that one's pretty mangled. 
That's going to be on a uh, 93 Tops card, actually. Although, if you think about it, if I were to stumble upon a Mickey Mantle card in this condition, I'd still be happy. And seeing as O'Leary is now in the Hall of Fame, I guess I should uh, count my blessings and still be happy. So, we'll set that one back there. But, again, I'm looking for the football first, just to get those out of the way. And I stumbled upon that. Larry Walker card. So it looks like this is all football here, so. <clears throat> um, baseball, that's right. Spanish, baseball. Um, foosball. <laughs> yeah, foosball. Uh, that Larry has seen better days. All right, so let's see. I Again, guys, I don't know anything about these names. Uh, this says score 2001. Uh, Marcus Robinson, Plaxico. Now I've heard of him, Plaxico Burris, uh, Doug Flutie. Oh my goodness, I remember him. He used to be a Charger. Now that's interesting. Again, I don't know much about these. It's got the Chargers logo on it, but he's wearing a Buffalo Bills helmet. I'm confused. Anyway. They don't take much to confuse me. There's a charger. And it's got a Buccaneer flag uh, logo. Ryan Leaf. Does that make sense to you guys? Two cards back to back. They're not matching up. Classic, I take I take the same card. Classic, absolutely. So these cards aren't making sense. Okay, we got a soccer card of all things. A Daryl Doran uh, for the St. Louis Storm. Never heard of him, nor the team. So set that one aside. Um, let's see, we got... Okay, finally we get a logo that matches the uniform. A Vinny Testaverde card. Um... Arthur Brown with the Ravens. Um, Sean Alexander running back for the Seahawks. Uh, Ger Gerard Warren, rookie card for the Browns. Jamal Lewis for the Ravens. And at least they're all starting to match up now with the logos and the uniforms. Uh, traded cards, okay. That makes sense. It's just funny that back-to-back, -back, they came that way. Uh, Rydell Anthony? Or is Anthony Rydell? Like, yeah. No? How are these written? The big number name is the last name. So, yeah, Rydell Anthony. Okay. Um, Marty Booker with the Bears. Bill Schroeder with the Packers. That card looks like it's been... Shot from the back with a BB gun. Look at that impact wound. Right in his eyeball on the back. Poor guy. Yeah, these cards have seen better days. This one's got a crease right down the middle of it. Patrick Jeffers with the Panthers. Uh, Rob Johnson with the Bills. Shannon Sharp, I've heard of him, with the Ravens. Uh, Jajuan Dawson with the Browns. Uh, we got a Redskin, Deion, oh, Deion Sanders, really? Is that like the Deion Sanders? Yeah, sure is. Huh, I got a Deion Sanders card. I'll set that one aside. That's pretty cool. Oh, and a Peyton Manning card. Look at that. Peyton Manning. I'll set that one aside. I think those cards have termites. Uh, not just to... I, I, sorry, I'm missing some chats here. <laughs> termites. <laughs> uh, Chad Pennington. Quarterback for the Jets. Peerless Price for the Bills. Um, Javon Kersey. Uh, with the Titans, I guess. 
Oh, Terrell Owens, really? With the 49ers, Terrell Owens. T.O. Uh, Michael Westbrook with the Redskins. Hardy Nickerson. Uh, Tory Holt with the Rams. Uh, Sylvester Morris with the Chiefs, it looks like. Uh, Ducey Staley with the Eagles. James Allen with the Bears. I Killard with the Giants. Rod Woodson with the Ravens. Dante Culpepper with the Vikings. Uh, Ron Dixon with the Giants. Steven Davis with the Redskins. Warwick Dunn with the Buccaneers. Okay, there's another one of those traded cards, I guess. Trent Green's got the Chiefs logo in a Rams uniform. Are you kidding me? A Brett Favre. You know, the last pack I opened that had some football cards in it had a Brett Favre card in it. So there's Brett Favre with the uh, Packers. That's pretty cool. And it's in good shape, too. Oh, Dave Durango's in the house. Good to see you, bud. Remember the great sports? How you doing? Yeah, for the guys who just jumped in here, don't get excited. I'm not doing football per se. I just opened up a bag of Goodwill cards that I got from the local Goodwill store. And um, mainly baseball, but I did pull out some football cards, so I'm going through that. And I pulled this uh, soccer card, too. I don't know anything about it. Daryl Doran. But I think I got some decent football cards. Again, I don't know football that well, but I got a Brett Favre with the Packers. Uh, Terrell Owens. Too bad it's not with the Cowboys, but he's with the 49ers. Peyton Manning with the Colts. And the Deion Sanders with the Redskins. So it'd be cool now to see a Deion Sanders baseball card come up. That'd be pretty cool. So I'll set those guys aside. All right, so let's get into the baseball. That's what you guys probably care more about. At least I speak for myself when I say that. Well, Andy's going to... Andy, yeah, by default, you need to be a football collector with that purchase you made. That's phenomenal. Let's see, they've got... Looks like they're a bunch of 90... I'm going to try, to try to break these up by year. Let me pull all the 89s out. And these are all the 90s. So. so that's it for the bag. Here's all the 90 cards. Um, yeah, well. Looks like there's some checklists and stuff in there. Yeah, we'll get to that here in a second. Let's get through some of these 89 tops. Hey, Frank, how you doing, bud? Okay, so, yeah, remember the greats. This was a Goodwill bag that came from the local store. <clears throat> it was gifted to me this morning at church, actually. I went to church this morning, and a, a fellow church member came up to me and said, Hey, you do baseball cards, right? I said, yeah. Well, he says, I was at the Goodwill store yesterday, and I found this bag of cards, and I thought of you, so I picked them up. He said, they're advertised for $4.99, but on Saturdays, Goodwill has, I guess, the purple sticker discount, so this was 50% off. So he got it for $2.50 and uh, gave it to me for free, so I didn't pay a thing for it. Um, and he didn't really break the bank either on it, so pretty good price for a stash of cards. I don't know. Maybe those football cards may have already been worth the, the two fifty. I don't know. <laughs> the checklist is your PC guy. You, that yeah, <laughs> yeah. Try to get the try to get the checklist auto, autographed. That'd be a, a feat for remember the great sports to do. Pull a checklist and send it to every player on that checklist and see if they can sign itty bitty next to their name. Dang, can't beat free. That's true, remember the greats? These, that's what I love about these old cards now is with TTM, it gives you something to do with them, not just sit in a box in your closet for decades. Get them autographed, that's right. 
All right, so let's start going here with those 89 tops, see what we end up with here. Again, I guess, you know, yeah, looking for the uh, Randy Johnson rookie, and I'm sure there's some other good. Um, Craig Biggio comes to mind as well. We could pull uh, one of his rookie cards. So here we got a Hal Lanier with the Astros, Gerald Perry with the Braves, Milt Thompson with the Phillies, another Milt Thompson, Sid Bream with the Pirates, Jeff Parrott, and look at that, I see another Jeff Parrott back here. So I've got duplicates of him. Uh, looks like we're going to have a... Oh, I was going to say I thought another duplicate, but Mike Dunn with the Pirates and a Mike Aldretti with the Giants. There you go, Mike Aldretti with the Giants. Oh, guys! Oh, i got to ring the bell here. Second year card, but still, nonetheless, Tom Glavin. Look at that. I should have had my sleeves out and ready. Let me grab my sleeves real quick. Uh, Schmoltz. Yep, second year Glavin. Uh, pretty good shape, too, I might add. Left to right centering is maybe 98%. Not too shabby. So here, I'll set these there, because I don't really know how many. I got a few stands in case we need more. Uh, where were we? Okay, Marty Barrett with the Red Sox. Uh, Gary Pettis with the Tigers. Another Gary Pettis. Looks like this may have come from somebody's PC that, you know, just had duplicates of players. We got two Dave Stewarts. Uh, Wallace Johnson. Not the same, not the expo we're looking for. Uh, Mike Kruko with the Giants. Another Mike Kruko. Jim Traber. Paul Molitor. Two Paul Molitors. Jose De Leon. Jose Sasena with the Rangers. Kevin Seitzer with the Royals. Rich Gedman with the Red Sox. Uh, Willie Randolph, two of them. Brian Harvey, two of them. Mike Greenwell. Jeff Reed. Rance Malinix, a couple of his. Uh, another Blue Jays, Jimmy Williams. I've never seen Jimmy with one M before. You almost want to say Jimmy. Jimmy Williams. We'll stick with Jimmy. Mike Stanley with the Rangers. Another Mike Stanley. Harold Reynolds with the Seattle Mariners. Atley Hamaker, Giants. David Wells, Blue Jays. Jeff Russell with the Rangers. Oral Hershiser, very nice. I'm going to set that one aside for my buddy Jose Tavares. He's a Dodgers fan. Uh, Dave Henderson with the A's. Dwayne Ward with the Blue Jays. Scott Geralt with the Giants. Uh, Record Breaker, 88. Who's that? He's a Met. Any guess who that is? I have not a clue. Let me see if it says it on the back. Oh, I should know it. He used to be a Padre. There's your clue, guys. He used to be a Padre. Oh, Man, remember the great sports is on the ball. He's right, Kevin McReynolds. Big Mac. Uh, also, we want to Pete Rose manager card. Yeah, I guess suppose that's a possibility. Mickey Brantley. Frank Viola. <clears throat> Os 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 Oswald Pedraza. With the Orioles. I heard something about, uh, I think yesterday I saw in the news, something about the president made a comment about the Hall of Fame trying to, you know, allowing Pete in now after so many years. Um, so it'd be interesting to see if anything comes from that. You know your late 80s cards? Yeah. Uh, Greg Olson, number one draft pick. Mike Smithson with the Red Sox. Dave Otto with the A's. And Dale, I love this name, Dale Svum. Just makes me sound like an uppity Frenchman when I say that. Svum. I sound like, um, uh, oh, what's his name? From the Pink Panther. Ah. Oh. Help me out, guys. 
He spoke. He spoke like that. Spoom. A uh, man from told him no last year. Mm. <laughs> Hashtag let him in. Tell Manfred he can beat it. Okay, yeah, I saw something. I think it was like on the ticker on the bottom of the news channel. There you go. The eight men out. Swaim? No, I'm sticking with Zoom. I like, I like, you might be right, Jason. You probably are right, but I liked, I'm going to stick with my pronunciation. Um, Buck Weaver's daughter passed away. She was trying to get him in. My card box looks like a pizza pizza box. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. Almost well, like a New York checker cab. Yellow with the checker. All right, let's get back into it. We got uh, Jack Howell with the Angels. Mike Lavalier. Dennis Lamp. Two Dennis Lamps. Ought to be McDowell, two of them. Mark Grant with the Padres, I'll set him aside. And Mike Schmidt, there we go. Go on, Mike Schmidt. Uh, Larry Sheets, Jeff Kunkel, Daryl Hamilton, two Daryl Hamiltons. There we go, Kevin McReynolds again. Two of them. Jeff Blauser. With the Braves, Tom Hankey with the Blue Jays. A couple of him. Alex Trevino with the Astros. Pat Tabler with the Royals. A couple of those. Ruben Sierra with the Rangers. Bob Brindley. There we go. That's pretty cool. Um, I was not a fan of him when he played, but he ended up being, of course, the, the coach for the D-backs, and he's now in the broadcasting booth and calls all the shots every live game in the broadcasting booth. So I... Uh, I get to listen to him quite frequently. Uh, Tim Burke with the Expos. Cal Daniels with the Reds. Uh, what I miss? Hungry. Now everyone wants pizza. Free slice. Thanks, I had half a pie already. Okay, Andy, you must be from back east because the pie term is usually up in the northeast. You know, um, remember the great sports? I think I pulled a Bremley, uh, his son's card once. I don't remember the story, you know, what team or where it was. But I remember pulling a Bremley card. And I verified that it was, in fact, Bob's son. I just don't remember the specifics. Uh, hey, Gorilla Family, how you doing, bud? Hey, Gorilla, I saw your comment on that, that flying video. And you are absolutely right. In fact, I'm, in, I'm looking at cameras right now. That's actually a pretty common thing now. People are mounting cameras in their planes. Um, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I uploaded a new video this morning. I, I've got probably half a dozen videos so far on my channel of my RC airplanes. And I want to mount a camera on board the airplane to get some uh, onboard footage. So, Gorilla, look, uh, look forward to that in the future. That, that will be coming for sure. Oh, Gorilla's not feeling good. I'm sorry about that, brother. Oh, okay. You met met him at a Peoria Chiefs game. That plane is great, Jason. Yeah, that was a jet. That's an actual turbine engine. You're the only AC channel I watch. You probably mean RC channel. It sounds real. It is, you know, it sounds real, Jason, because it is real. It's an actual turbine jet that runs on jet fuel. Yep, it's coming, guys. I'll, I'm going to get a camera. I will definitely be doing that. Yeah, no, I, I, I got you there, MG. Uh, Mike Maddox. I would have preferred a Greg Maddox card. Uh, Padres, Dennis Rasmussen. Let me set him aside for my Padres collection. Uh, Doc Gooden, two Doc Goodens, Kelly Gruber, Mike Moore, 
with the Mariners. Two of them. Frank White. Two of them. Ron Robinson, just one of them. Dave Parker. I just watched a documentary on him the other day on MLB Network. And um, talk about a big-headed, egotistical guy. But life has a way of humbling you. And he was humbled later in his career. <laughs> so I will, I'll leave it at that in case you guys want to read up on him. But a very interesting story with Dave Parker. Very good story, but interesting. Parker should be a Hall of Famer. He may make it. He may. Uh, Pat Clements. Bruce Suter. Alan Trammell, Hall of Famer. Alan Trammell. Second opinion, Doc. Yeah, Doc Gooden. There, I'll set him just in the background there. Let me set these over here so they're not confused with what I haven't looked at yet. All right. Uh, we got Andres Galarraga with the Expos, uh, Gary Ward, Don Carmen, Andres Thomas, Mark Davis, Padre, Mike Davis. Doesn't look like there's any relationship there with the Dodgers Athletics team card. Uh, Gene Larkin with the Twins. Oh, Suter's in the hall. Okay, let me go back. I'll, pull, I'll go back and pull him here in a second. Thanks for letting me know. In fact, I better do it now before I forget. I'm not, obviously, 100% up on who's in the hall and who's not. So I appreciate you guys letting me know. Otherwise, he would have gone into my box of commons. <laughs> Walt Weiss. Wait, three blind Weiss. Take it easy, guys. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Uh, at least you're entertaining yourselves. That's good. Tom Troublehorn with the Brewers. There's a checklist. Terry Poole with the Astros. Scott Lucader with the Tigers. Chili Davis with the Angels. Terry McGriff. Uh, any relation to Fred McGriff? It doesn't say. I don't know. Oh, Weiss is on the A's leader's card? Okay, I got you. I've skipped a few. Okay, I, I figured. Hey, Kendall, how you doing? The checklist is in the hall. <laughs> yep. Suter's the only Hall of Fame pitcher with a losing record, really. It makes you wonder how he got in then. Unless he just was stellar on the other stats. I don't know. Uh, Craig McMurtry and Ron Robinson and another Dale Svoom or Swain or I think that's how Jason pronounced it. Oh look at my two piles here both ended with the same card. That's interesting. Here I'll I'll add that to that to keep them together. All right, but that's about halfway through my 89. Hey, there's a Bobby Witt. You know, that would have been a good Bobby Witt card. I just sent out, um, I was telling, remember the greats the other day. Um, I just sent some cards off to Bobby Witt for TTM, hoping to get a response. And this would have made a good card. I didn't, I don't, I didn't have this card. I don't remember. I sent him an 80, no, a 90 Donruss and like a 92 Fleer or something. But this is a light white border. This would have made a good TTM card right there, actually. Oh, well. Uh, Todd Froworth with the Phillies. Uh, oh, SSP's in the house. Good to see you, bud. Okay, remember the greats. Terry is indeed Fred's brother. Okay, thank you. See, that's why I love having you guys here in the background. You're like my uh, personal Wikipedia uh, gorilla. Kevin, I might have missed it. 
what is that place you guys run the planes? The Dry Lake? Yeah, Gorilla, it's just south of uh, uh, Vegas. It's called the El Dorado Dry Lake Bed. It's near Boulder City. Yeah, it's only maybe 15 minutes south of Vegas. 15, 20 minutes south of Vegas. Uh, yeah, remember the greats. Which card are you looking for, bud? Oh, remember the greats says he'll sign it. That's good. I'm looking forward to the Bobby Witt cards. Uh, which card do you want me to show, remember the greats? The one in your hand. Pete Smith? Not sure what we're looking for, so just uh, keep me apprised of the situation. Oh, okay. So it wasn't the Pete Smith card? Uh, was it the Bobby Witt? Or the Froworth. <laughs> I'm guessing the Wit card since we're talking about him. I think so, Frank. Remember the Greats has us looking for something. Oh, he's okay. I thought we had some traded cards. Uh I guess it would have a T on the on the number if we did. But I haven't seen any No, none of these have T's on them. Interestingly enough, a lot of these cards are No, I was going to say that's a low number. Uh, small note, trivia, Bobby Jr. was drafted one spot ahead of his dad. Okay. That's right. I remember you mentioning that to me the other day that, uh, yeah, Bobby Jr. is now playing. So that's pretty cool. It's fun to see that the next generation's coming up. A lot of juniors. We got Tatis. We got Guerrero. We got Bobby Witt. Um, I'm sure there's more I can't think of. Those come to mind, though. There's Pete Smith, Joel Skinner. Ooh, Nolan Ryan. Oh, the traded have bright pink on. Okay, that's good to know. I did not realize that. All right. I'm guessing that Ryan was a better pitcher than Suter, so I don't feel bad about covering him up. Cool. All right. Uh, Bruce Ruffin. Wally Backman with the Mets. Kurt Manwaring with the Giants. Pete Stanisek. Alan Ashby. Oh, Chris Sabo. I'm going to save this for my buddy Chris Howard. He, and if Dave Durango is still lurking in the background, shout out to Dave Durango. There's a gold cup card for Chris. Um, the Kingeries, I think, is another second generation player. I think Scott Kingery is the son of, I forget the dad's name, Mike Kingery, maybe? Oh, Chris is here. There you go, Chris. That's funny. Uh, Keith Hernandez of the Mets. Ooh, Mark Grace, Gold Cup card with the Cubs. Again, I collect Mark Grace cards simply for the fact that he is part of the D-backs organization now. And yeah, he played with them, obviously, as well. <laughs> I got your attention, Chris. That woke you up from your slumber. Yeah, I'll ring the bell for Mark Grace. I'm not going to ring it, but it is a very nice Grace card. Very nice grace card. So is there a... Wait, yeah, I think I've got the 88. This is 89. I believe I do have an 88 grace rookie card somewhere in my collection. 
Uh, Johnny Ray with the Angels. Roger Clemens. Love him or hate him. Well, there's two of them, too. How about that? Uh, Eric Chow with the Padres. Two of them. Uh, I was just talking to somebody about him the other day on a channel. If you don't know his story, kind of a sad story with Eric Chow. If you guys are interested, you can go to read up on him. Oh, the bell is for Nolan. Okay, I got you. There he is. You know what? Yeah, you're right. N Nolan. Good call, Jason. Good call. Kurt McCaskill with the Angels. Fred Lynn, Hall of Famer. Two of them, too. How about that? I guess I got to sleeve them both up. Good thing these things are only a penny apiece. Peds, I think I said hello to you earlier. If I didn't, I apologize. Hello to you. But I think I gave you a shout out earlier on. Was the show a spring training? Maybe. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I'm trying to think, Chris. Is that what that fence used to look like in the backfield, in the outfield? The reason Chris is asking, guys, by the way, is Chris and I both grew up down in Yuma, Arizona, and that's where the Padres would come for spring training every year. And a lot of their photographs for their baseball cards were taken at spring training time. So a lot of the background pictures were able to identify things and places in our old hometown. Oh, okay. So I, see, I don't remember the color scheme on the uniforms. Okay. You know, it does look like it looks like Keegan Field with that brown, that the one that would border up against the soccer fields there, Chris. It does. That same like slatted wood fence look. But I don't remember them playing at Keegan. I just remember over at, uh, um, you know, Ray Kroc. All right, Rob Deere with the Brewers. Put that in the right pile. Uh, ooh, Ryan Sandberg. Oh, two Ryan Sandbergs. See what I mean, guys? These uh, these cheap Goodwill bags I get, for whatever reason, people are turning in their Hall of Fame cards, and I am not complaining because uh, I'm the beneficiary of them, I guess you could say. Jason's got two new videos up. Okay, good. I'm glad everything worked out, Jason. You were able to keep your channel open and, and keep that going. Um, I, I, that's, that's awesome. Uh, oh, I see something about... what did Andy says, speaking of sleeves, I need to or make up a large Amazon order. Yep. I'm not sure what the reference to ice cream is. But I'm sure uh, maybe he's enjoying a cup. Oh, that's awesome, Jason. 100 subs. Danny, okay. Boy, I've been I've been procrastinating, Danny. We're still working on the baseball cards here, bud. So you're not going to miss the racing ones. Uh, Rick Shue, we got Andy Van Slyke. Shout out to John Jabs. Uh, Kurt Gibson, not in the Hall of Fame. May, one of these days. Uh, Steve Balboni with the Mariners, Lou Whitaker, two Lou Whitakers, Bobby Valentine with the Rangers, uh, John Franco, Ernie Witt, Jim Leyland with the Pirates, Andy Allenson with the Indians, two of those, Bob Nepper, Paul Kilgus with the Rangers, two of them. Jose Lind, two of them. What's interesting is there's no more than two, though, of anybody. There's not, like, triplicates. Uh, is John the younger brother? I think so. I think he's younger, Andy. And he's definitely more free-spirited. I've, I've noticed that. In his persona. Uh, there's two Ron Hassey cards. That's cool. 
Jose Alvarez with the Braves. Jim Acker with the Braves. There we go. Greg Maddox. Oh, two Greg Maddox cards. Sweet. I do collect Greg Maddox. He's a local hometown legend here in Las Vegas. If you guys have not seen the video he did with uh, Chris Bryant, they're both Vegas kids. What well, kids? Greg's not a kid. Chris is, though. But uh, they did a prank where Greg Maddox pranked Chris Bryant. They were doing like a at the field documentary video, and Greg had a beard. It, they stuffed his belly with a pillow, made him look chubby, and um, he was the sound man for the film crew. And um, I, I'll just kind of leave it at that, but you guys need to check out that prank. It is funny. It is really, really good. And Bryant had no idea that it was Maddox the whole time. There's two John Cruck cards with the Padres. Uh, Bill Doran, a couple of Bill Dorans. Plus, I think I pulled another Bill Doran earlier. Uh, Tommy Pham, best current Las Vegas baseball player. I don't know. I I honestly don't know anything about Tommy Andy, only because you know he went to Tampa Bay, and I don't follow the Rays at all, so I have nothing. I have no opinion on him at all. Um, now that he's with San Diego, I definitely will start watching him, and uh, form an opinion from that. Oh, really? I I did not know that. Remember the greats? That's interesting. Oh, remember the greats? We're talking about the uh, jabs. I pulled an Andy Van Slight card. I just gave uh, John Jabs a shout out, and we were trying to figure out who was older, Eric or John. Uh, he signs one per in person if you want to put in the time to get them. Oh, cool. You know, the local, I, I will say this, remember the greats, and it makes sense. The local card shops here in Vegas, um, they've got plenty of Greg Maddox autographed memorabilia baseballs, uh, hats, gloves, photos, cards, you name it. Lots of Greg Maddox stuff. That only makes sense, though, because he's local. Hey, we got Deerman and Hunter in the house at the same time. You guys budding up here? Yeah, I don't know what the deal is, Andy, but a lot of guys do come from Vegas. That's true. Oh, Jason says hilarious. He must have seen that prank video. Dearman? No. <laughs> I just... it. Okay, Dearman. Uh, Joe Morgan. Bobby Thigpen. There's another checklist. Will Tejada with the Expos. There's Fred McGriff. There's a... Uh, I forget the other brother's name. Was it Ron, maybe? But there's bro Brother McGriff. SSP, there's your boy. Brooke Jacoby. Steve Buscelli. Uh, Charlie Puleo of the Braves. We pulled a lot of Braves cards. Carlos Quintana of the Red Sox. Storm Davis of the Athletics. Jeff Robinson. Ooh, Gary Carter. Very nice Gary Carter card. I don't think uh, card. Oh, two of them. Look at that. I love it when you get the good cards back to back, like duplicates, as opposed to some cheapo that nobody knows. Uh, what I miss? Uh, Greg is a is aware who's a fan and who is a dealer. If he thinks you're a fan, he'll take care of you. Oh, okay. Ah, maybe I'll get a chance to meet him one of these days. Deerman couldn't find any 2020. Sorry about that, bud. Terry McGriff. Terry, Terry, thanks, guys. Lots of 2020 there, where Jason's at. Terrence and Frederick. I did not know that. Terry and Fred are actually Terrence and Frederick. It was AFK. Uh, I don't know what that means. Any good cards? Well, yeah, we've got um, Hall of Famers, obviously. That's kind of what I pull out of the uh, the old grab bags. But we got a nice Glavin. We got an Alan Trammell, Nolan Ryan, a couple Greg Maddoxes. Just pulled a couple Gary Carter cards. Very, very clean, very well-centered. Uh, Tony Fernandez. Ooh. Yikes. Hmm. I'll keep him in our, in our prayers. That's that's rough. Kidney. 
Yeah, once the kidneys start to go, that's usually the end. That's sad. Uh, Pat Borders with the Blue Jays. Gil Hodges turned back the clock card with the Mets. Uh, Lou Brock turned back the clock. That's two good back-to-back -back cards there. Uh, Tom, Ni Tom Nidifer. Nidinfer with the Orioles. Kirby Puckett. There we go. Let's leave that one up. 57. Wow, that's young. Uh, Rich Gedman. Hey, Mike Kingry. He's just one I was talking about. Is he not uh, Scott's father, guys? Can you verify that for me? I'm pretty sure I've asked the question before, and I think it was yes, but I just want to verify that. That is Scott's dad. Hey, Ethan. How you doing there, bud? Uh, uh, let's see. What is he saying? Agreed if... So if you pull one this morning in your stream, be sure to mention it, it to get the prayers out. Well, absolutely. Remember the greats and prayers, regardless if I call, pull this card or not. Um, pray for him and his family for sure. Hey, hobbyist, how you doing? Uh, and more. Just made it back to school. Good deal. I think it's, what, an hour, hour and a half drive for you, Ethan? That's not too terribly bad. Okay, so the Mike Kingery is not related to Scott. I guess that's the, the verdict on that one. No relation. All right, there's another Rich Gedman. Danny Darwin. Uh, Joe Morgan. Rangers leaders. An hour and a half. Yeah, I, I think I remember you saying that at one point, Ethan. I'm doing good, Hobbyist. Thanks for asking. I'm doing excellent. Camden, Disney's in the house. Good to see you, bud. Hey, Ethan, um, I went back and watched your whole video yesterday. I want to apologize. I came in a little bit late yesterday. I just got home from the flying field, and I was pretty hot, and I, I had a massive headache. I, I had to lay down and take a nap, so I was not able to sit through your stream live, so I apologize for not doing that. Um, Ethan, while I got you here, before you run off, I got to ask you, you kept making reference to those Myers cards, the purple border insert cards. What is Myers a store or what, what is Myers? Cause I've never heard of Myers out on the West coast. Is that an East coast thing? Could you maybe explain that a little bit? I'm not quite sh sure or familiar with that. Uh, Danny Darwin, Dave Cohn. Remember the greats. Mike Kingery has eight children, but not a single one of them is named Scott. <laughs> really? Eight kids, and Scott's not one of them. That's funny. Uh, got two Rangers leaders cards. Interesting. Oh, we got some backwards cards here. Uh, Whitey Herzog for the Cardinals. Ivan Calderon with the White Sox. And a Wade Boggs. There we go. Hall of Famer. Uh, Meyer is a store. It may just be East Coast. A lot of people hadn't heard of it. Okay, well, count me as one of those uh, that had never heard of it. So how do you spell that? M-E-I-J-E-R. Um, -E Interesting. So is it kind of like they do uh, for Myers what they do for uh, Walgreens? They got the yellow insert cards for Walgreens. They do the purples for Myers. I guess that's how that may work. Gotcha. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, Ethan, if you're going to... Um, I hope that maybe at your next sale you can bring those cards back up again. I'd, I'd like to have another look at the, some of those. They're a scaled-down version of Walmart. Okay. Cool. Uh, Jim Gott. 
Melito Perez, two Melito Perez's, Bruce Benedict, uh, Bill Wegman with the Brewers, Dave Martinez. Wow, look how young Dave Mart was there. Look how young he was there. If, if you guys don't know, he's the coach of the Nationals. I, that's definitely him. You can see it in his eyes, but uh, man, he's a lot, lot, a lot thinner back then. I just always find it interesting that he now coaches for the team that the team he played for transitioned into. You know, the Expos became the Nationals. He played for the Expos and coaches the Nationals. Kind of interesting. Uh, Bob Brewer, and then we got Padre Keith Moreland. And now we're playing the upper deck game, upside down in every which way. Uh, Pete Stanisek, a couple of them for the Orioles. Dave Valle with the Mariners. Louis Meadow with the Astros. Marvin Freeman with the Phillies. Matt Williams, there we go. I'm looking, I guess, I don't know, that wouldn't be his rookie card, would it? I don't think so. I'm going to sleeve it up anyway. Explain me this. How do you win the World Series, Martinez, and not win Manager of the Year? That's a good point. Um, that's a very good question, actually. Okay, 88 is Williams' rookie card. Okay. Uh, Baldelli for the manager... I, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't know who Baldelli is or what team he coaches. Okay, Pete O'Brien. Dave Dravecki with the Giants. Tom Candiotti. We're about done with the 89 tops. Uh, Jimmy Williams, Blue Jays. Mike Marshall with the Dodgers. Harold Baines. David Wells. Dan Pasqua. Burt Blylevin. And a Todd Bezinger. Is Bly Levin a Hall of Famer or no? Oh, he's the Twins manager. Okay. Yes, okay. Something inside of me, a little voice was saying Hall of Famer. I just wanted to verify it. You know what I need to do? Um, I need to go to the Hall of Fame website and print out a list of all who's in the Hall of Fame. That would really, really help me out. Oh, Baines is in too. Okay, thanks. I just saw that one recently. Yep, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I need to break down and get me a, 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 a list. See what I mean, guys? These uh, grab bags are full of Hall of Famers. Bert, be home, Bly Levin. Used to play for Tampa Bay. Oh, five. Did a Berman name earlier, too. Yeah, you guys were messing with names earlier. Some of these names are, they'll, they crack me up, that's for sure. All right, guys, so here we go. We got some 90 tops to go through. Split these in half. Let's see. I think these are upside down. All right. Let's see what we get here. Looking for the... Uh, uh, it'd be cool to get the uh, Frank Thomas card, obviously. That'd be the, the number one card to get. Uh, Tim Tufel with the Mets. Denny Martinez. Two Denny Mar Three Denny Martinez. Four Denny Martinez. Wow. Okay. Doug Descansen Descanso. Mike Jackson. Two Mike Jacksons. Three Mike Jacksons. Four Mike Jacksons, five, and six Mike Jacksons. Whew. That was quite the haul there. And Wade Boggs, we got several of him. That's good. Let's see, one, two. Okay, so two Wade Boggs. That's good. <clears throat> uh, 
<clears throat> so I'm going to, uh, I overweighed that stand. I do that every stream. I put way too much weight on these stands. And then eventually they come crashing down. Um, so I'm pulling all these duplicates. Is it overly optimistic to say I hope I get a couple of the no-name Thomases? <laughs> I think that'd be a stretch. Uh, got a Matt Noakes thing going on, I know, right? Um, oh, I missed a lot of chat. You guys are really flying through this here. Uh, Ethan. Oh, yeah, Ethan. You know, I never thought about that. Ethan. Uh, Chris Howard, my one of my moderators here. He and I, I'll, I'll vouch for Chris. Um, we're, we're, we're like, well, we're best friends. And he's been in school administration for a couple decades now, so... Uh, definitely hit him up. Yeah. Yeah. I, I should have made that uh, connection earlier for you guys. Uh, Tom Troublehorn. I got three of them. Mark Thurman. I got uh, three of them. Larry Walker. How many Larry Walkers? Of course, just the one. <laughs> just the one good one. Watch, I'm going to get 10 Chris Sabos and then like one King Griffey Jr. or something to that ratio like that. Uh, Chuck Krim, one of them. Tracy Jones, let's see, three, four, five, six Tracy Jones. Brian Meyer, one, two, three, four, five, six Brian Myers. <laughs> And Chili Davis, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six Chili Davises. Wow. Oh, yeah, Ethan. Um, obviously, Chris is another D-backs fan by default for obvious reasons. Um, okay, Alvaro Espinoza. Let's see, three, four, five of him. Oh, Gary Carter. How many of him? One, two, three Gary Carter cards. Sweet. That's a nice haul right there. Well, I'm going through sleeves now. Hey, uh, Ethan, do you remember that picture I sent you a while ago of Cole Tucker signing those uh, Inception cards? Um, and Chris probably doesn't know I, <laughs> I'm telling the story for the, he's learning for the first time, but uh, I got that picture from Chris. Chris let me know about that picture, and then I forwarded it on to you. I thought you'd appreciate it. All right, getting back to it here. John Watson, how many of them have we got? Just uh, just a couple, fortunately. Uh, Frank DePino, one, two, three Frank DePinos. Rene Gonzalez, just one of him. Eric King, there's two of them. Jim Rice, one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, is he a Hall of Famer, guys, Jim Rice? I'm thinking he is. Yes. Okay, thanks. Uh, what I miss here? Oh, he's still with the... Wathen is still with the organization, the Royals? Uh, 
Okay, Chris is going to reach out to Elvis. Uh, yeah, Elvis. I, I keep calling you Elvis, Ethan. I'm sorry. I know better than that. And if not, Chris, I've got I've got cont- I've got uh, his email too. I can get it to you if you need it. So I hope you know I I'm not going to sleeve up. Fi- well, uh, I'll sleeve them up later. But five Hall of Famer Jim Rice cards. Uh, these cards have a bend in them. You guys see that little curl at the top? Unfortunately, a little bit of a, a bend, but it's not creased. So hopefully, maybe over time that'll flatten out. Uh, a couple Scott Bales. Uh, Four checklist six of sixes. Uh, Jose Alvarez, a couple of him. Mario Diaz, a couple of him. Oral Hershiser, a couple of him. I'll set those aside for Jose. Lloyd Mosby, three, four of him. Yeah, I keep. I don't know. I look at your screenshot and I, I see the Elvis name. I don't know why I do that. Uh, Mike Jeffcoat, uh, Tim Laudner, Andy Van Slyke, three, four, five, five of them, and we did get the Ben McDonald number one draft pick. And of course, there's only one of them. <laughs> but uh, I'll set that one aside for sure. That's a nice card. Uh, Dave Leapier with the Padres, couple of him. Uh, Jeff Reed with the Reds, Pete Smith, two, three, four of him. Corey Snyder, one, two, three, four of him. And finally, uh, two Greg Hibberds with the White Sox. So that rounds out our, 80, our uh, 90, 90 tops. So no Frank Thomas, but we got a ton of Hall of Fame cards, guys. You'll never hear me complain about getting Hall of Famer cards. <laughs> yeah, Andy sure did. He called it. All right, Ethan, you take care, bud. Uh, yeah, let us know when your next sale is going to be. I'm already looking forward to it. Super, super duper short prints. SSDSP. That's good. You should do it for YouTubers. You know, guys, um, I, I haven't given a shout out in a while, but I do have a collection of cards in the background there for all those that support my channel and have sent me their personalized cards. And I really think that more of us should do it, myself included. I'm preaching to the choir here, guys. I'm, I'm preaching to myself first. I need to get a card made up. I've already got some ideas on what I want to do for my card. But, you know, i got Donald Blomdahl's rookie card here. I've got uh, Bobby Catalano's rookie card, a couple of those, actually. One of them's homemade by myself. Um, i got Ethan. I just have his business card in a one uh, top loader. Ken's Cardboard sent me a card. Philip Golden, uh, Oldenburg Stash sent me a card. Um, I think more of us need to get a little more proactive on these because they are really cool. And we're such a close-knit family that we ought to have enough to trade with one another and support each other. So that's definitely something on my bucket list in the very near future. Uh, you are a pastor. I, I'm not a pastor, Jason. I, I'm a preacher. I, I, need to verify, I, I need to clarify that because there is a distinction. Um, preachers can preach the gospel, but pastors manage the local church. I have a pastor of my church, but he allows me to preach at my church. So that's the kind of distinction there. Yeah, that makes sense, Dave. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm an, I'm an ordained preacher. I can go around and, and preach at other churches, but I do not run my own church. That's a pastor's job. Uh, I hope to obtain that level at some point in my uh, life. I'd like to be a pastor. 
And uh, I know you, you've really got to have the calling for the ministry guys to, to say, I want to be a pastor, because that's, it's not a glamorous job. It's not an easy job by any means. It's, it's, a, it's a, a heavy burden job with a lot of responsibilities, but uh, it's a fulfilling job. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's worth doing, but it's not for the light of heart. Okay, moving on, guys. Now, we're going to set baseball aside for a second. Um, I hope that we still have uh, Danny lurking somewhere in the background. Uh, no, Dave, priest is a Catholic term, and I'm not Catholic. Uh, well, I know one, Kevin, the politics are bad in churches. They can get out of hand to remember the greats, that's for sure. Uh, poli- well, yeah, okay, I, I see what you're saying. The, the, the church politics itself can get bad. Yes, they can. Um... Very little pay, very little pay, and as think about this, guys. Pastors are paid by their flock, so to speak. They're the shepherd, and their income comes from directly from the sheep, from the members of the church. And across the country, church well across the world, really, church membership is dropping at a drastic rate, and with that goes the pastor's salary. So it's hard for pastors to be a full-time pastor because they're just not bringing in the income because their churches are not supporting them. And that's at the fault of the church. The church members are at fault for that. And uh, so a lot of pastors are having to take on second, third jobs to pay the bills. And then when they do that, it's like a catch-22. They cannot be there to help out their parishioners with their problems because they're busy working. And then the parishioners are upset because the pastor's never available. And it's just an ugly cycle. But uh, I digress. We're going to get into NASCAR here, guys. Um, I've got a box of 91 Max race cards for NASCAR. And, uh, yeah, next week is the Daytona 500. So I'm not going to be streaming next week because I'm going to be on the couch in front of the TV watching the race. So I wanted to open this up this week to kind of get us in the NASCAR spirit. So let's see what we get here. We got a box of 36, it says 36 packs. I don't know how many is in each pack, but we'll find out together here. There they are. So each pack, they kind of got that plasticky, it looks like foil, but it's more like a plastic foil, kind of like score packs. Um, how many cards? It says there's one collect, uh, 15 collector cards and one scratch off card in each pack. So this is this could take a while. So I'm just gonna have to start getting to the rip in here pretty quickly. One, two, three, and four. Okay, uh, Kevin, read what I wrote above. Oh, sorry, let me go back. Uh, I'm here, man. You're looking for Bobby Labonte rookie and Jeff Burton rookie. And also any Dale Senior cards out of this. There are a few error cards too. Okay, cool. That would be really unique to get an error card. And NASCAR is my strong suit for anyone that wants to laugh. Uh, wait, are these Impalas, Cutlass, or Monte Carlos? Uh, I'm just going to say it. Dibs on the first Dick Trickle card. That's too easy, Chris. <laughs> uh, I should have expected that from you. Danny showed up just in time. Uh, Jason says not open yet. Uh, Raxan. Okay. Okay. Remember the greats has got some TTMs coming up. Cool. Oh, uh, what NASCAR cards? Cool. <laughs> oh, Chris. Christopher Howard, you had to go there. 
All right, remember the greats. Thanks so much for joining us, buddy. I appreciate the time, bud. I appreciate it. Um, all right, Chris, I'll tell the story. I, it's got to be quick because these are a lot of cards I got to get through. So back in the, uh, I guess it was mid to late 80s. Um, I'm trying to remember what year it was. I don't think it was early 90s yet. Anyway, I went to Phoenix and watched the NASCAR race live in Phoenix with my uncle. And as you know, Danny, uh, I don't know if they still do it nowadays, but back in the day, after the race, you know, you could go down to the pits, meet the crew, sometimes meet the drivers. But they would be pulling the tires off the cars and literally chucking the tires into the trash can or giving them away to whomever wanted a tire. And this particular, I don't know if they always do this, but they would write the car number in chalk on the sidewall so you knew which tire or which car the car the tire came from so my uncle and i were walking along this fence and the crew members are running up to this fence and chucking these tires over this fence and they, they were writing the car numbers on the tire and then chucking them well they're throwing these tires over my uncle catches this tire and no joke danny it had a number three on it we ended up with the dale earnhardt tire and of course to me that was just it was so incredible to get that we took it home yeah you, you threw me out of the bus chris that's okay so we take this tire home i am elated it's a dale earnhardt tire we get home now my dad and no offense to him he's just not a nascar fan he didn't appreciate the significance of it of course none of us did at the time because nobody knew uh, the legend that he would turn out to be but my dad would not let it in the house, so I had to leave the tire out back. So the tire ended up becoming stationary in my backyard, and my dog would use it as a little doggy house. My dog would grow up and curl up inside the tire. So um, it was a beagle. My dog turned the Dale Earnhardt tire into its dog house. So there you go. Is that the proper way to treat a Dale Earnhardt tire? I don't think so, but that's what I did. All right, so we're looking for the Bobby Labonte and Jeff Burton rookie cards. That would make my wife happy. My wife is a Bobby Labonte fan. Why, I don't know, but she liked him, so. All right, let's see. Oh, right off the bat, we got an Alan Kulwicki card. I recognize him. 1990 race number 27 out of Rockingham. Yep, Alan Kowicki. Guess that one, right? Uh, ooh, Richard Petty. We got the king right off the bat. Uh, they sing, the Beagles sing. <laughs> oh, you need to send her a few cards of him. Oh, she would she would be elated, Danny. She loves Bobby Labonte. And I've got nothing against the guy, but uh, she really had a thing for him. Uh, Richard Petty. Oh, Sterling Marlin. I uh, I got to meet Sterling Marlin at Old Dominion Speedway for a little charity race they were doing with the late models. Gosh, that was probably 2011, 2012, somewhere around there. So eight or nine years ago, I got to meet him. And he was already suffering. Um, I don't know if it was, he ended up with dementia or what, but you could see there was something neurologically wrong with him. He was not um, all there for some reason. Oh, we've got Kyle Petty, the king's son. Ooh, Barry Dodson, the crew chief. Lake Speed. I vaguely remember him. Oh, Junior Johnson. We just lost him, what, a week or two ago, actually. Junior Johnson, pardoned by President Reagan after being found guilty for running Shine back in the day <laughs> in the hills of North Carolina or some such place. Yep, Danny, we need to go back and go through your binder when you have a chance on a live stream. I definitely want to see that. Oh, it's Parkinson he's got. Okay. There was, Yeah, Danny, I, I didn't see the jitter so much in his, in his movements, but his faculties, he just didn't seem like he was there. He was there in body but not in spirit. Like I said, nice to meet you, Mr. Marlin. I reached out to shake his hand, and he looked at me like, what? Like he wasn't understanding me. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Andy's got 92 and 96 max. Okay, we got 
Uh, Cliff Champion. I don't know him. Jack Pennington. I've heard of him. Brett Bodine. I remember him and his brother Jeff. Oh, guys. I got to ring the bell. Look at that. I don't know if there's any better card out there, Danny, than that. I mean, to me, that's just like the epitome of NASCAR. Oh, he's not really friendly. Maybe he was just being a jerk then. <laughs> I thought it was his illness. Um, okay, Danny, I got an Earnhardt card. Am I looking for a... There's a Rick Wilson behind it, but we'll come back. Okay, am I looking for an error card of some sort? The Earnhardt's worth like two fifty. Okay. Well, that being said, let me let me get a sleeve for Mr. Earnhardt. All right, I'm gonna set my baseball cards aside because now we're we're definitely into racing here. So let me set him up there. Okay, Rick Wilson. I think I've heard the name. Ooh, Michael Waltrip. Look at that hair. You know, he's a goofball, but he's apparently always been a goofball. Not it's not just a recent thing. Mikey Mikey. You know, that's cool to pull these cards. I'm gonna set them side by side. Danny, I think you understand the importance of it. But when Mikey won in 01, running for Earnhardt for DEI, that that's that's pretty cool right there. All right, we got Jeff Purvis and Dave Marcus. Dave Marcus, yeah, he ran until late into his life. He was he was still driving at an old age. And then there's this insert card. I don't know what that's all about. All right. Well, guys, um, one pack in. We've already got an Earnhardt and a wall trip. Who's this? Patty somebody? Patty Moise. I don't know that name. Patty Moise was a driver in 91. Ray Beetle. Chuck Ryder. Billy Hagen. All right, I'm four for four on not knowing these people. Ah, Jimmy Maycar. Yep, I know that name. I even knew how to pronounce it. I didn't say Maker. It's Maycar. Jimmy Maycar. Ken Bouchard. I think I've heard the name. Greg Sachs. I know him. Oh, Harry Hyde. The Hyde brothers. In fact, Danny, didn't you tell me you were just, you live down the street or you're not far from them? Uh, Chris is heading out. I'll, I'll give you a shout out later on, Chris, for sure. Oh, you've got that card signed by Senior. Wow. Oh, Patty's married to Elton Sawyer. Interesting. Who? Jimmy still works at Gibbs. I live near Jimmy Hensley. Okay. Yeah, and you're not far from, um, was it Emporia, where the Saddlers are from? I've driven through Emporia. Oh, Larry Mack. What's, what do you, what's his famous saying? Reach up and pull those belts tight. One more time, he'd say. <laughs> I love Mary, Larry Mack and DW in the booth. Very cool. Man, he looked young there. Wow. One more time. Tim Brewer. Bobby Hillen. Gosh, these are bringing back... Uh, memories, these names. Checklist. Bobby Dodder. I don't know him. Benny Parsons. Oh, we lost him way too early. BP. Ned Jarrett. He's still kicking, I think. Dale's dad. That was cool when uh, Dale won the 500 and Ned Jarrett was in the announcer's booth. 
And uh, I think when they took the white flag, the other announcers backed off the bikes and said, Ned, you call the shots on this last lap. Call your son home. That was, that was a pretty cool experience watching that race. Yeah. Hey, Steve, Carter's kids, what's up? Hey, well, we're into our NASCAR cards now, but Steve, I want to take a quick second. I pulled, well, I, I put them away. I pulled a bunch of Carter, Gary Carter cards earlier. I pulled um, some 89 tops and some 90 tops of Gary Carter, so that was pretty cool. Uh, you saw Ned last year not doing too good. Now, the last interview I saw with Ned Jarrett, he, uh, you could tell that, uh, yeah, he didn't have too much longer probably to go. Elmo Langley, uh, NASCAR official maybe? I don't know him. Memorable Monuments. That's well, definitely Kyle Petty's card, number 42. Rockingham. Rockingham's not even on the schedule anymore. It hasn't been on for years and years. Wow, he got almost 300 grand for one race. Wow. Back then, that's a lot. Daryl Bryant, crew chief. Don't know him. Ricky Pearson. I think I've heard the name. Oh, David Pearson. I've obviously heard of him. Uh, we lost him, was it last year, I think? Yeah, I think we lost him a couple years ago. Um, let's see. Oh, look at, man, look at Mark Martin. Look how young Mark Martin is in that picture. And he's one that just dropped off the, the face of the earth. I haven't heard or seen anything of Mark Martin. Last I heard, his son was running a truck, but that was years ago. So I don't know whatever happened to the Martins. And I'll, I don't know who the gentleman with him is. Probably his uh, crew chief. Uh, oh, yeah, Bill Elliott winning there. With the whole Coors Light crew. That's at Dover. I've been to Dover. I went to the race there. Oh, we got a... Is that Kelly? Is that Dale? Is that little Kelly with Dale? Does it say? No, it doesn't say who it is, but I think that's his, probably that's probably little Kelly. Uh Oh, Larry is David's son. Okay. I didn't know that. And Ricky is Oh, interesting. Mark Mark has a weekly podcast. I did not know that. Shake shake and bake. Oh. Horrible. Horrible. Oh, that's his other daughter? Okay. Good to know. Um, I missed something. It went by. Who said that was Jack? You said that was Jack Roush. Is that really Jack Roush? You're right. I didn't even realize that, but now I see it. I totally see that now. Uh, Tommy Ellis. Well, let me set that Earnhardt card aside. I want to. I'll separate them. Uh, Tommy Ellis, Dave Resendez, I don't know him. Uh, memorable Moments, there's a wreck. I can't tell where, where they're at. Oh, the Lady in Black, so they're in Darlington. Love Darlington. Oh, Donnie Allison. Donnie Allison, he and Bobby, the Alabama gang. The Race Stoppers. L.D. Odinger. Uh, oh, um, uh, Jeff Bodine. That, yep. Used to seeing him in green, but uh, there he is in the red. Hey, Martinsville. You ever been there, Danny? <laughs> of course, I'm kidding. Oh, you're going to see Donnie in two weeks? That's cool. Oh, you're not a nerd. I, Danny, I appreciate it, man. I totally appreciate this. Jack Aroot. Oh, man, I used to listen to him for years. Jack Aroot. 
Jeff Burton. Oh my goodness, look how young he is. And that's his rookie card, huh? There he is. We got the rookie card. Oh man, look at that hair. Wow. This is fun. I mean, Danny, like you, I, I grew up in the sport and uh, I appreciate all this stuff. That's cool. Let me get a stand for Jeff. Of course, Jeff is the one brother you can understand. Then he got his brother, War. War Button. My name is War Button. Now you can understand where I say I'm War Button. That's my Ward Burton impression. <laughs> okay, Carter's kids. Thanks, thanks, Steve. I appreciate you showing up. Oh, uh, yeah. I always wondered what was up with uh, Jeff and Ward. Two different talkers. Totally different. Uh, Kurt Schumberdine, Mike Hill, Cecil Gordon, Bobby Moody, Rod Usterland. I don't know these names. Dennis Connor, Jeffrey Ellis. Oh, Steve Grissom. Man, he was young there. Wow. Uh, Derek Cope. Look at him. I can tell that is. That's him winning the 500. No, it's not. That says Dover. I didn't know he won Dover as well. I just knew about him winning Daytona, so I thought that's what that was. But uh, definitely Derek Koch with the Perlator car. Another Earnhardt Sr. Another Earnhardt Sr. Two dollars on the Burton rookie. Nerd status alert. I would love to hear the stories. You know, uh, Danny, when I go into your streams and you're showing the memorabilia and your autograph cards and just... It it, mean, it does mean a lot to me because I've seen a lot of these guys up close and personal as as well as you have. Uh, I spent years and years going to the race in Phoenix when I lived in Arizona. Then when I moved to Virginia, I went to Richmond for like six years in a row. Um, I went to Dover. Um, yeah, it just it, it's, it's special. Hey, Doug Rickert. Remember him? There's Alan Kowicki in the pits. Butch Mock. Uh, that's an error. The Doug. Okay, let me go back. The Doug. Doug, Doug, Doug. Oh, Rug. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I just said Doug. I didn't even notice that. Wow. What a... Yeah, Doug on the back. I I think I said Doug, Richard. I don't know. If not, I knew better. Ru what a s silly error. Help me on fire. You're on fire. Uh, Jason, I, you know, I don't know if you're much of a NASCAR fan. If, if not, I suppose that that movie is probably entertaining. Um, I don't know about you, Danny. Days of Thunder and Talladega Nights, and this is my opinion, were two of the worst decisions NASCAR ever um, agreed to participate in. I, I think that set them back, actually. I don't think it promoted the, uh, the sport. Hey, Donald, how you doing? Donald, we're doing something different. We're doing uh, NASCAR cards today in honor of next week's 500. We did some baseball earlier, but now we're on to NASCAR. Kenny Bernstein. He's a drag racer. I, I didn't know he was an, a car owner in NASCAR. Bob Whitcomb. Phil Barkdahl. Don't know him. There he is. This is for my wife. Hang on, everybody. Bobby Labonte for the missus. Yeah, I, I don't know which one, Danny, you're talking about, but they were both annoying. And uh, and then you had, what, Stroker Race? That movie was just silly. But it was fun that it had a lot of the old the, the original drivers in it. So I, I kind of enjoyed uh, that movie for who was in it. But there there we go. We got Bobby. Well, let me set up another stand. Bobby Labonte. So that would be his rookie card as well. Uh, 
Uh, Phil Barkdahl is an auctioneer now. Interesting. Uh, you like six pack too? I don't remember the six pack. Oh, there she is, Ramona's. <laughs> All right, guys. For those of you who don't know, uh, she's in the chat here, Ramona. That's that's my wife. And if you could, everyone, she's just starting a brand new channel. And if you could uh, give her some uh, love and support by jumping on her bus, we would both really appreciate it. She doesn't have any content yet, but it is forthcoming. Uh, that is a guarantee. We're going to work on some videos here soon. So um, that's cool that she was. I didn't know she was lurking in the back like that. So cool. Thanks, Danny. Appreciate it. Yep. So, and that makes sense because she's she knows her NASCAR as well. This is a lot of these names are bringing back memories for her too. There's Kel Yarborough. I don't remember the name of the book, Danny. He wrote. Do you remember the book he wrote? Oh gosh, ten years ago or so. I read it. It was his little autobiography. Excellent, excellent book. I really enjoyed it. He was a daredevil. He was a character. I remember he, he said he bought an airplane once without knowing how to fly, and he just jumped in and flew it. <laughs> Successfully, obviously. But uh, he's a character. There's Jeff Bodine. He got into the um, bobsled business, if I am not, not mistaken. He makes bobsleds. There's Morgan Shepard. He, he raced till he was 127 years old. Like, he was literally just running up until a couple years ago, I think. Uh, there's Neil Bonnet. That old Neil Bonnet. Jim Bone or Bound. Steve. Steve. Uh, I should not have say that. Steve Meal. Hamil. Oh, okay. So are these guys brothers here? We got two Bones. We got Jim Bone and Chuck Bone. I've never even heard of the, them, but interesting. There's a checklist. Oh, Jerry Punch. Dr. Jerry Punch. To be exact. Oh, Mike Joy. There we go. Oh, Mikey. Well, not Mikey. That's Mikey. This is Mike Joy. Great, great announcer. Eli Gold. I remember Eli Gold. All right. What did I miss? He's still racing, Danny? I, I would have assumed he'd be done by now. He's still racing. At 127 years old, that's my joke. But yeah, that's awesome. Oh, they're brothers. They live 30 minutes from you? Wow. Danny, you're just like in the hub. That is cool. Oh, by the way, Danny, I saw your race. Was it last night, I think? Um, I was lurking in the background. I was pretty much done for the night but i watched you you place third there at uh, the night race at daytona two more laps you would have had them guaranteed two more laps but you ran out of time unfortunately but i did watch that race it was very good um okay there we got another cool wiki card i think that's the first card we pulled earlier actually bill elliott you know i think i mentioned this before but if you if you just chopped off the hair and made it black he'd look just like chase dead ringer uh, Jimmy Hensley, Tom Kendall. That name sounds familiar, but I don't know why. Uh, Phil Parsons. I don't know why I remember Phil, too. Larry McClure, Mike Alexander. A lot of these names I don't know. Tommy Houston. I vaguely remember that name. Mike Beam. Mickey Gibbs. Rick Mast, I remember him. Ricky Rudd. <laughs> Levi Garrett, I remember when he... I most famously know him in, as running the Tide car when he was number 10 with Tide. Uh, Donald saying hi to Ramona, that's nice. Uh, yeah, you really are, huh? Last night was fun, yep. Next week's going to be the big one. Super Bowl. Phil is Benny's brother. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Jason's close to Daytona. Tommy Houston in the Roses card. What was the Roses card? Uh, 
I, I don't remember the reference to that. I like how their radios are literally handheld radios zip tied to the crossbar. <laughs> that's that's like just so primitive technology. That's awesome. But there's there's old Ricky Rudd. Uh, oh, Davy Allison. Davy, Davy, Davy. What a good kid. Um, just yeah, tragic story. Very tragic. Rodney Combs, Gary Nilsson. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me this long. I know it's uh, not my normal stream. It's a different uh, content, obviously, but uh, I'm having fun with it. And I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I agree, Danny. I agree. And he should have won that championship that year. That uh, that blasted crash on the near the end of that one race cost him the championship. <laughs> That that upset me. I did not like that. There's Elmo Langley again. I remember him. Hey, another memorable moment. Daryl Bryant. This looks like a um, duplicate pack here. Ricky Pearson, David Pearson. Yep, back to back. There's Martin and Roush. Elliot. Yep, there's the Earnhardt card again. Tommy Ellis. Dave Resendez. Memorable moments. Yep, Donnie. The race stoppers. L.D. Ottinger. Yeah, I think that was a duplicate pack. Thanks for streaming. Yeah, my pleasure, Jason. Thanks for uh, hanging out, hanging out with us. I wouldn't stream if it weren't for you guys in the chat. Streams are awfully lonely and boring if you're alone. Uh, there's another Jack Root, another Jeff Burton. That's cool. Another Burton card. I'd love to get a Ward Burton card. I don't know if he was running back in 91. Because that way I can do my impression. I'm going to do my one button. I'm Ward Burton. Dennis Connor, Jeffrey Ellis. This seems to be another duplicate pack. Yep, there's the error card for Doug Rickard. Oh, he does have a card in here. Well, I hope to get it. Hey, uh, Danny, is Jeb still racing? Jeb Burton? I think he was running... Was it Trucks last I saw, or was he in the, the Xfinity series yet? Uh, Ward's son? Uh, Kenny Bernstein, Bob Whitcomb, Phil Barkdahl. No, another Bobby. Another shout-out to Ramona. Man, we're just still in the first stack here, and we're already getting uh, duplicate big hits. Oh, he runs for Dale Jr. now? Okay. In what In what division? <laughs> yep. Okay, another Kelly Yarborough. Another Jeff Bodine, Morgan Shepard, Neil Bonnet, Jim Bone, Steve Amell. Yep, Chuck Bone, back to back. Jerry Punch, Dr. Jerry Punch. Mike Joy and Eli Gold. All right, so we did start to see some duplicates there in the last couple packs, but. All right, getting on to our second stack here. Okay, Xfinity. And I may slip up and call it the Bush Series or Nationwide. It's been called so many things over the years, I can't ever keep up with what's current. Uh, Barney Hall. Ah, Dick Bergeron. Look at him. Without the little derby cap. I almost didn't recognize him without the hat. Um, that Man, he's young in that picture. I used to read, was it Speed Sport News? He used to be the editor for Speed Sport News. Does it mention it? 
No. It doesn't mention that. Uh, Larry Hedrick. David Smith. Norman Koshimuzu. I guess he's the uh, hauler driver. Interesting. Howard Poston. Henry Benfield. Les Richter. Memorable moments. We got the number 20 car spinning out there in front of the king. Oh, king's involved. Look at that. Actually, he's airborne. Pet Petty's airborne there. Tearing up his right front. Uh, Butch Miller. No, oh, Dale Inman. You hear his name thrown around a lot in the NASCAR community. Uh, oh, Rusty. Rusty, Rusty, Rusty. Oh, when they used to run at Sears Point. Well, they still do. Now it's called um, Sonoma, I think. That's Rob Moroso. Which one was Rob Moroso? Oh, the number 20? The, the crashing car? Okay. There's Bodine again. Peter uh, Sospenzo. And Dave Mater. Yeah, Danny, I'm not sure how um, how I stumbled onto your channel, seeing as though I pretty much just do baseball cards. But I'm so glad that I stumbled upon your channel and we linked up because, uh, yeah, this is a it's a it's a unique genre of cards, that's for sure. But uh, I appreciate it, and I know you do as well. And there's something you will never see again in racing. Smoking a stogie in the car. J.D. McDuffie. <laughs> oh, Buddy Baker. Terry Labonte. There we go. I'm not used to seeing him outside of his uh, Kellogg's cereal uniform, but uh, there he is. Looks like maybe a skull uniform. Obviously, uh, Bobby's brother, for those who don't know. Uh, Junie Donlevy. Don't know him. Oh, Richard Childress. Man, he was young there, too. RCR. And Harry Gant driving the Skull Bandit car. Good old Harry. He got a shout-out in Do the Days of Thunder. I remember that. Hut Strickland, I remember him. Jerry Joey Knuckles. Ah, Rick Hendrick. That's cool. The, probably the two most successful owners to come out of that era right there. Hendrick Motorsports and RCR. Two super, super successful teams. Uh, Ken Reagan. Ken Reagan. Is, is he in relation to David Reagan, Danny? If anyone in here would know the answer to that, it'd be you. Uh, the only Reagan I know is David Reagan. Ah, Felix Sabatis. Wow. Um, that's Reagan's father. That's cool. I did not realize that. That's cool. He's a second generation. Uh, JD holds the record for the most last place finishes, sadly. He passed in a terrible wreck at Watkins Glen. Oh, man. Oh, Jimmy Spencer. I need to get him and a, a Kurt Busch card put side by side and let them duke it out oh, so speaking of what's his name was smoking that cigar earlier JD McGuffey we gotta get that cigar in uh, Spencer's mouth remember he'd always do those speed channel pre-race shows with the cigar checklist Ken Squire legend legendary Ken Squire Winston Kelly Love the name, Winston. Back when it used to be the Winston Cup. Uh, 
Uh, Jason never saw that movie. Uh, Hothead Jimmy, that's for sure. Uh, Jason, if you're at all interested in NASCAR, you need to watch it. But it's silly. And by that I mean it's so unrealistic. But anyone who knows anyone that likes NASCAR has seen Days of Thunder. But again, it don't don't watch it and try to learn about NASCAR from it. You're not gonna learn a thing. Uh, the Winston, there we go, talking about the Winston Cup. There he is, winning the Winston. The Intimidator. Oh, I don't know that name. Who is that? I don't know who that is. Morgan Shepard. I should. He just doesn't have enough gray hair yet for me to know who it is. Oh, DW. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Look at him. Oh, there's Dale. DJ, look at that. I remember that big old mustache. Yep. I'm going to sleeve DW up, though. So, if I haven't told you the story already, Danny, when I moved to Virginia back in 09, we drove across country from Arizona, and we stopped along the way in Bristol. Of course, I had to see the track, and, oh, oh, hey, Chuck's in the house. Good to see you, Chuck. You've got that Dale Jarrett card autograph. That's cool. Yeah, Chuck, Days of Thunder is a classic, but it's, well, like I said, it's it's just silly. <laughs> um, but, Jason, if you get a chance, you should watch it. But, anyway, so, um, we're driving through. We got to Bristol. And it was early in the morning. They just opened up the little uh, visitor center and whatnot. It wasn't a re race weekend or anything. It was just during the off-season. Uh, Larry Pearson. So we, we sign up for a tour where they put you in the back of a little uh, a Ford a Conoline van and drive you around the whole facility, take you out to the drag strip and the, the short track stuff. And But then they take you to the, 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 the arena, the Coliseum. And the, the driver asked, would you like to drive around the track? in uh in that van i'm like absolutely i do now granted i think we only got up to like 50 or 55 miles an hour but when you're on the bristol track it you just feel like you're flying because you're so you know uh, squeezed into a tight space and after we did three laps he says well it's still early you guys want to do a few more laps what am i going to say no so of course i did so that was that was the treat of the trip right there I was going to, to bristol there's robin penderton Okay, Dick Trickle. Chris called that one earlier, but he's already out of the chat, but that one's for Chris. Uh, Bud Moore? Oh, Bud. Hey, Kenny Schrader. I love Kenny. Ken Schrader. Broke my heart uh, when Mikey won that he had to break the news to, to Mikey about that, what happened with Dale. Oh, you're going to Bristol in April. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, Chuck. It's as corny as all heck, but all good. Yeah, I, I hear you. Pemberton, one of the best crew chiefs ever. Hmm. Uh, there's Rusty Wallace. Alan Kowicki. Famous for his Polish victory lap. Hey, Jeff Hammond. Got to meet Jeff Hammond back in 20... Oh, no, it was, what, 2002, 2003, something like that. I got to meet him, posed for some photographs with him. Uh, pit crew chief. Oh, they're Bill Elliott. The pit crew race. Yep. Chuck is awesome already. Guy talks NASCAR. He's all right with me. <laughs> all right, there you go. Yeah, you know, Chuck, you can uh, you can pretty quickly, and I'm sure you know this, Chuck, you can pretty quickly pick out who knows NASCAR and who doesn't. Um, there's the wannabe NASCAR fans, and then there's the true blues. Now, I'll admit, guys, I've lost track of NASCAR over the last few years, so I'm not up on a lot of the new... Uh, I know the drivers, but I, I couldn't tell you their numbers, who their sponsors are, because they change as quickly as drivers change underwear, practically, nowadays. But uh, but back in the day, man, I was I was all over it. Uh, 
Uh, memorable moments. Was that the 500 win? No, that's Talladega. All right, Jimmy Cox, NASCAR official. <laughs> Stop. Buddy Parrott, crew chief. I guess that'd be Derek Cope's car since it's a pure later car. Hmm. Doesn't say Robbie Loomis. Of course, he's famous for uh, the Jeff Gordon partnership when he was Jeff's crew chief back in the day. Dom Birschwale. I don't know him. There's Mark Martin winning in Richmond. There's, well, there's, there. I, I covered up Teresa. <laughs> there's another Earnhardt card. Mark Martin winning in Wilkesboro. North Wilkesboro. Uh, oh, Davey winning in, oh, that's cool, with his dad with him there. Davey winning in Bristol. That's cool. Billy Stavola. Paul Andrews, don't know him. Doug Williams, don't know him. Ed Barrier, don't know the name. Joe Nemechek, wow, look how young he was. Yeah, he's probably Hunter's age there that time of that picture was taken. G.I. Joe used to call him. And the Wood Brothers. Of course, Glenn, Leonard, and their sons, Eddie and Lynn. <laughs> Glenn's sons, not Glenn and Henry's together. Leonard. All right. Yeah, um, Danny, I never cared for her. No, uh, no argument here on that one with me. You had to go pick up another pizza. Really? Wow. Ned Jarrett. Dick Brooks. Todd Bodine. Oh, wow. Look how... Well, a little chubby in the cheeks, but he's obviously uh, very famous for that massive wreck in uh, the truck series at Daytona. That was a horrendous crash. What was it? Yeah, it was Todd. I'm pretty sure it was Todd. Uh, Daryl Andrews. James Luter, don't know the name. Eddie Lanier. Kurt Shelberdine, I know that name. Jimmy Fennig, know him. There he is, we got it. We got the we got the Will Button card. This is Will Button. I don't know much to say about the guy, but his name Will Button. Will Button. I'll sleeve him up just for fun. Whoa, button. <laughs> Bill Venturini. Is that Wendy's dad, Danny? Danny, if you're still listening, which I'm sure you are. Um, Onion Head was his nickname. Um, I'm guessing that's Wendy's father. Because there aren't that many Venturinis out there. Whoa, button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to spell it, Jason. Wa button. <laughs> I like that spelling, Jason. That's classic. Uh, Wa button. Oh goodness. Memorable moments. That's at Charlotte. Harry Gant, winning in Pocono. Oh, there's Senior. In Talladega. moments who's that Chuck bone okay I, I don't know him Robert Presley I remember him ah, we're getting through these cards guys I believe soon on Wendy Kevin's ODing on the coffee <laughs> I haven't had coffee today I'm actually trying to cut back. I'm I'm down. To, I'm drinking more decaf than regular nowadays. I don't understand that, Danny. I believe soon on Wendy. I was asking if he was her her father. But uh, hey, Dave Marcus again. 
Oh, Patty Moise, Raven Beetle. Okay, these are duplicate cards from an earlier pack. Jimmy Maycar, Ken Bouchard, Greg Sachs, Harry Hyde, yeah. Larry Mack again. Tim Brewer. I think Tim Brewer used to do that TV show with... Uh, um, uh, was it Chad Canales used to do a TV show. It was like a, a crew chief show where they'd get really technical. I think Tim Brewer was on that. Uh, Bobby Hillen. Checklist, Bobby Dotter, and Benny Parsons. Is your garage cold tonight? Not too bad. It's it's not it's only 350. It's still not nighttime per se. I do have a space heater running though. Under my feet. <laughs> so I'm staying warm. There's another Winston card. Get another Morgan uh I almost said Morgan Freeman. Morgan Shepherd card. Hey, Richard Petty again. Sterling Martin. Marlin, sorry. Kyle Petty. Barry Dodson. Lake Speed. Junior Johnson. Cliff Champion. Jack Pennington. Brett Bodine. Dale Earnhardt. Base card. Rick Wilson. And another Mikey. I'll set that one up there. And Jeff Purtis. <laughs> yeah, that that would be something if it was a Morgan Freeman card. That'd be like the uh, the baseball Justin Bieber card, right? For Shane Bieber. There's only what two hundred and uh, how many cards in this set? Two hundred and forty. So theoretically, I could end up with all of them. I think. Uh, Jimmy Cox, Buddy Parrott, Robbie Loomis again, Don Bershwali. Mark Martin, another senior card. Mark Martin, Davey Allison, Billy Stavola, Paul Andrews, Doug Williams, Ed Barrier, another Joe Nemechek, and the Wood Brothers card again. Um, <laughs> yep. I've actually had to back off on my coffee, Donald, because I, I, I actually grew an addiction to it where I would have my morning coffee every day for, at work. And then on the weekends, if I slept in just an hour on the weekends, I would wake up with horrible headaches because I'd be feeling the caffeine withdrawal. So I had to, I had to cut the habit. And it, was, it was rough going through that withdrawal. But uh, so now I pretty much stick with decaf, except on special occasions. Dick Brooks, Todd Bodine, Daryl Andrews, James Luter, Eddie Lanier, Kirk Schumberdine, Jimmy Fennig. Jimmy Fennig, was he... Uh... Oh, I want to say he was either Matt Kenseth's crew chief. I believe it was Kenseth. I had another Wobbutton car. I had another car for Wobbutton. Oh, I'll well, go Wobbutton. Bill Venturini. Uh, another Charlotte card, Harry Gant, Senior. Uh, that's that Bone, Chuck Bone, I think. Yeah, Chuck Bone, Robert Presley, and Memorable Moments. So that's halfway through the box, guys, and I'm not seeing a whole lot of new stuff. So I'm guessing, unless something drastic happens, well, as soon as I say that, we pull a Richard Jackson, whom I don't remember seen before Bob Tullius Mike McLaughlin fans favorite driver DW yep oh Derek Cope there he is yep after winning the 500 uh, Bristol oh goodness who Ernie Irvin I, was gonna, I can't believe I forgot who ran the Kodak car uh, there's Bodine in Martinsville there's Dale Sr. again, Randy Baker, Davey Johnson, Billy Standridge. Ooh, that's a gnarly wreck there. That's right, I remember that wreck with Waltrip. The car just split in two, and uh, Mikey walked away from it. Jack Ingram. 
hey, that's Phoenix. I don't even need to know anymore to, other than to tell you that that's Phoenix Motors. Well, it's now it's called IMS or something. I, they changed the name, but it's it used to be Phoenix International Raceway, PIR. You can't barely see it. There's a, the old Goodyear Bridge over here between turns three and four. Now they've changed it. The front straight is now on the back straight, and the back straight is now the front straight. Changing things up on us, but uh, that's Phoenix. And Talladega. Uh, Kevin, when did you start stuttering? Is it this NASCAR pack break? Yep, you're right. It was yeah. Well, button, well, what, 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 I'm trying to tell you about that. Well, button, and it, he's not necessarily a stutterer. He just is hard to understand. I don't know if there's videos of him on YouTube. If you could Google him, try to find an interview with him. But he has such a unique accent. So unlike his brother Jeff. Jeff is very articulate and pronounces things so clearly. And then you got Ward that just, I don't know, all my name, my name, Will Button. <laughs> and I'm not trying to insult the guy. He's a nice guy. It just, he has a funny accent. Oh, okay, there's another uh, Dick Bergering card. Larry Hedrick, Dave Smith, Norman Kushimuzu, Howard Poston, Harry Benfield, Les Richter. Uh, Butch Miller, Dale Inman, Rusty Wallace, Gant, or Bodine, I mean, uh, Peter Suspenzo, Dave Mater, and Crew Chief of the Year, Robin. It doesn't say, is it, is it Robin, Robin Pen Pemberton? It doesn't say anywhere who it is, but I think it's Robin Pemberton. You can understand him? <laughs> Why? Because you're a Virginian? You're a fellow Virginie? I can understand him. It's just, it's, it's funny. Maybe I'm making a bigger deal out of it than it really is. But. Okay, Buddy Baker, Terry Labonte, very nice. Uh, Junie Donlevy, Richard Childress again, Harry Gant, Hut Strickland, Joey Knuckles. Rick Hendrick. It's interesting that Hendrick and Hen uh, Hendrick and Childress are in the same pack. Uh, Ken Reagan, David's dad. Felix Sabates, Jimmy Spencer again, checklist. Ken Squire, Winston Kelly, and Barney Hall. I should sleeve the Gant. Uh, yeah, there's no reason not to. I mean, I, I could I could make the argument for Terry, for Childress, and of course um, Hendrick as well. But yeah, I'll uh, I'll sleeve up the Gant, and I'm gonna go back through these cards, guys, later and organize them a little bit better. I'm probably gonna create a binder just for my NASCAR cards, so I'll keep them separate from my baseball. And when I do put them in the binder, that'll give me an opportunity to sort them a little bit better. I don't know. Don, Danny, how do you organize your cards? Do you do it by number or by name or, like, using the card number? Or how do you do it? Hey, there's a Dale winning in Phoenix. I'm, I was probably at that race. I was more than likely at that race right there when he won. Uh, another DW card. Dale Jarrett. Larry Pearson. <laughs> 12,000. Wow. Wow. Harry Melling. Mark Stahl. Robin Pemberton, okay. 
Dick Trickle, Bud Moore, Kenny Schrader. Doesn't, um, Danny, this is like oddball trivia. Isn't he missing like half a thumb or something? When he was a kid, he was working on an engine and his dad or somebody started the motor while his th finger was in the belt and it, the belt spun in the pulley and it cut part of his thumb off. Did I dream that or is that a true story with, with Schrader? Rusty, Kowicki, Jeff Hammond, Bill Elliott's pit crew, and J.D. McDuffie. Oh, you don't know about that? I, yeah, I. that's one of those oddball things. I saw an interview with him once, and I could have sworn he showed he only had like half a thumb due to a accident in the garage. Looks like another duplicate pack here coming up. Richard Jackson, Bobby Tullius, Mike McLaughlin, fan's favorite driver, Derek Cope again, Ernie Irvin, uh, Bodine Sr., Randy Baker, Davey Johnson, Billy Standrich. There's Michael's Wreck at Bristol again. Jack Ingram. And I love that Phoenix card, a PIR. I was probably at that race as well, somewhere. Now that's what's known as the hill. It's just outside of turn four. Well, now I guess it's turn two. But uh, anyway... They didn't used to charge. You could go up there for free, bring a lawn chair and an umbrella, and you could sit up there for free. Now I think they're paying, you have to pay like 25 bucks or something to to sit up on the hill. And Talladega. Uh, have I pulled a 2020 image variation? No, I have not. Uh, I can't buy cards. I don't open baseball three. Okay. Another Dick Burgering card. So not a whole lot of variety, I'd say, in this box. Unless this is all there is to the set. Larry Hendrick, David Smith... They keep that's the third card I've got of this guy who drives the 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 transporter. Uh Howard Poston, Benny Benfield, Les Richter, memorable moments. Yeah, this is the identical pack as before. <laughs> Nothing new in this one. There's Robin Pemberton again. I'm looking for that one of one Dale Sr. Tire Relic Auto Card. I'm kidding. Doesn't exist. Donald, I have the King Griffey Jr. NASCAR card for you, too. King Griffey Jr. has a NASCAR card? Interesting. Uh, Buddy Baker, Terry Labonte, Jun Junie Dunleavy, Childress, Gant, uh, St Hud Strickland, Joey Knuckles, Rick Hendrick, Ken Regan again, Felix Sabades, Spencer, there's that checklist, Ken Squire, Winston Kelly, I think this is going to be that e Eli Goldie. Oh, no, Barney Hall. Okay. I thought I was getting good on these co collations here. All right. There's a... Uh... Yeah, see, there's Senior winning. Well, of course, there's Teresa next to him, but... Got Childress with them, winning the team championship. Another wall trip. Dale Jarrett, Larry Pearson, Harry Melling, Mark Stahl, Robin Pemberton, Dick Trickle. 
Bud Moore, Ken Schrader, Rusty Wallace, Cole Wickey, Hammond, Bill Elliott's crew, and JD McDuffie again. All right, last pack in stack three. And I'm going to have to pick up the pace here a little bit, guys, because uh, I do have to start getting ready for church here. I have to be at church at 5. And uh, it's already after 4 o'clock here. So uh, Nick Beatty. Oh, here's a new set of cards here. H.B. Bailey. Charlie Glosbach. Leo Jackson. Oh, there's Kyle Petty winning in Rockingham. Their senior winning in Richmond. Uh, it looks like Davy Allison's team, but I don't see Davy in the picture. But that's at Charlotte. Uh, who's this guy? Race in North Wilkesboro. Oh, that's Burbo Dine? Huh, looks different. DK Ulrich. Memorable moments. Look at that tire, those tire marks. Cars spinning all over the place. Okay, Tracy Leslie, Travis Carter, another memorable moments. That looks like it might be Martinsville. Yep, Martinsville. I can just tell by the it's a short track turn. The the uh, the apex looks like Martinsville. Uh, Andy Petrie. And there's Rusty Wallace getting some smooches from the Trophy Girls. And he ain't complaining. All right. Final stack. My, my uh, Dale, uh, Dale, I almost said Junior, Dale Senior stack's getting pretty thick. There's another one of those uh, championship cards for senior. Bill Elliott. Jimmy Hensley. Tom Kendall. Phil Parsons. Larry McClure. Mike Alexander. Tommy Houston. Uh, the Roses car, I think Danny called it. The, the Roses car. Mike Beam. Mickey Gibbs. Rick Mast. Ricky Rudd. Davey Allison. Rodney Combs. And Gary Nilsson. I need to start picking up the pace here, guys, so hope you understand. Uh, Nick Beatty, H.B. Bailey, so another duplicate of this new pack that we hadn't seen before until this stack. Yeah, um, identical packs here. Nothing new in that one. Oh, Chuck, that's cool. You got a lot of uh, mementos. That's awesome. Hey, here's a new a new set here. We got Chris Economaki. Used to enjoy listening to his broadcast. Tom Peck. Danny Lawrence. Will Lind. Troy Martin. There he is. Dale Earnhardt. That's a different... Uh, that's his all-pro card, I guess. So let me... That's a, like a variation of the, his base. Okay, Doyle Ford, Rob Rahili, Richard Broom, Dick Moroso, another uh, senior win at Michigan. There's a. Uh, is that Ricky? I want to say Ricky Rudd at Watkins Glen. Yep, Ricky Rudd. Okay. There's Miss Winston Cup, 1990. Steve Lloyd, crew chief. And Donnie Wingo. Donnie Wingo. I can't remember who he used to uh, crew chief for. Wingo. Was he with McMurray? Donnie Wingo. 
Oh, here's a new set. Uh, Elton Sawyer. Now Kirk Schomberdine, Ben Hess, Bill Engel, Robert Yates. Yates Engines, excellent power plants. Ooh, AJ Foyt. I believe we lost Robert Yates, too. I don't think he's still with us. AJ Foyt, Chad Little, Kenny Wallace. I got Kenny Wallace's autograph once in person at Richmond. He's a goofball. He and Mikey are like two peas in a pod when they're together. Uh, Jack Roush, looking very stern. Tim Morgan, Rookie of the Year. Oh, Rob Moroso. Oh, he's the one that passed away. Oh, okay, I got you, Danny. Yep, running that crown card. So we lost him at Watkins Glen, you said? Hmm. J.C. Elder, Jim Phillips, and Bob Jenkins, another famous broadcaster. Hey, Bobby, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, the cat in the hat. Bobby, I don't know what happened to your package. It's, I don't, you'd have to check the tracking number. It was supposed to get there yesterday. So I checked last night, and it still showed it was in transit. Um, hopefully tomorrow, maybe? But I, I sent you the tracking number. At least I believe you've got it. But your package has got to be getting close to Getting close to you. There's Senior. Hey, Mark Martin. I don't remember pulling that one earlier. If we did, I don't remember. Just a base card. Eddie Bershwali. Jimmy Horton. Tony Glover. Waddell Wilson. Leonard Wood. There we go. Yeah, these are some new cards here. Cards. Here, Bobby Hamilton. James Hilton. Bobby Allison. There we go. I got the Donnie earlier. There's Ernie Irvin. Derek Cope. Good old Derek Cope. Jim Sauter. Jimmy Means. Ernie Elliott. And that's it for that pack. Looks like we got four to go, guys. Four to go. And gals. Sorry, Bobby. Shout out to my gypsy queen. Yeah, you bet, Bobby. I suspect you'll uh, you'll enjoy opening that box. Uh, Dick Beatty, NASCAR, HB Bailey, Charlie. All right, here's another duplicate pack from like we had earlier. Nothing new under the sun in this one. Oh, maybe your storms interfered. Storms interfered. Okay, maybe so. Uh, another Chris Economaki card, Tom Peck. So this is duplicate to what we had, what, two or three packs ago? Yeah, there's that Earnhardt. Chris Economaki, I don't know if you guys remember him, but he had a he had a way with not really understanding what a lot of the Southern guys were saying. And I forget what driver it was one day. Blew a tire or something had some tire issues and crashed. And in the post race, Chris Economaki was saying, so what happened to you out on the track? And he goes, oh, I was out on the track there and I had a problem with my tar. And he says, what? You had a problem with what? My tar. There was a problem with my tar. And uh, Economaki goes, wow. Okay, heads up to all you crew chiefs out there. Let your drivers know that there's some tar on the track. And apparently it's causing some problems for these drivers. So watch out for the tar. And the driver was like, no, I'm saying tar. You know, like the tar is on the car, the tar. That's my favorite Chris Economaki uh, story. I remember that interview. I don't. I just don't remember who it was with. Uh, Elton Sawyer, Kurt Schilmerdine. So some of the same guys here. Nothing new. Robert Yates again. Foyt, Chad Little. There's Kenny Wallace, Jack Roush, Moroso, JC, Jim, and Jenkins.
you know, remember the greats? Yeah, welcome back, by the way. That was a very long phone call. But, uh, and here we are. We made it to our last pack. And uh, so, remember the greats? One of these upcoming live streams that Danny's going to do, he's going to show his uh, collection of TTM cards. Or not, I don't know if they're all TTMs, but autograph cards from this set. So, Danny, I st I'd still like to see your set if you have a chance to show those cards. I'd appreciate it. having now seen the cards myself in person and knowing what they are, and I'd love to see what what you got. Is it possible to get new cards? Nope. Looks like it's going to be the same cards. Mark Martin, Eddie, Jimmy, Tony Glover, Waddell Wilson, Leonard Wood, Bobby Hamilton, James Hilton, Bobby Allison. I ought to do a trio of Bobby, Donnie, and Davey. That'd make for a fun little trio set. Uh, Ernie Irvin, Cope, Jim Sauter, Jimmy Means, and Ernie Elliott. So there we go. Oh, Hats McGee's in the house. Good to see you, Hats. Uh, you're a Carl Edwards fan? Carl just disappeared, too. I don't know what, what Carl's up to these days. Yep, the Alabama gang. <laughs> Good one, Apex. Drive myself in circles, that's right. Okay, funny story. So, you guys will appreciate this if any of you are true blue racing fans. So, I grew up, like I've said in my baseball videos down in Yuma, Arizona because I used to watch the Padres uh, spring training. But we also had a, the local track down there, Cocopa Speedway. It was on an Indian reservation. Well, it still is. It's a dirt track. I want to say it's, I don't know, three-eighths of a mile. I, I can't remember the size, but it's a short track on dirt. And so I grew up when I was, I think, three or four years old. My uncle, who's the true blue racing fan of the family, took me to my first ever car race, and it was sprint cars and midgets. And I just remember it was so loud. I was crying. It, it was not a fun experience. But something did seep into my, my veins, and when he said, next week, you want to go, I said yes. And I've been going to car races uh, for roughly 40 years now because of my uncle introducing me to sprint cars on dirt back in the day. And a lot of even modern-day NASCAR drivers came from dirt. A lot of true blue drivers came from the dirt racing world because of the skills that it teaches you. So anyway, fast forward. About seven or eight years ago, I'm at lunch in the office with my coworkers, and I, I worked with a guy who was a, a, another diehard racing fan. And we're in the, in the break room eating lunch, and then there's some other people in the break room also, and there was this lady... And she was kind of listening over, over uh, hearing our conversation. And my buddy Rob says to me, Ke so Kevin, what's, like, what do you like about racing? What's your favorite thing? I said, honestly, Rob, for me, nothing beats watching midgets run in circles on Saturday nights. Now, you all know what that means. Apparently, this lady who was eavesdropping did not understand, nor did she appreciate what I said. So she piped up, Kevin! First of all, they're called little people, and it's rude to make fun of them like that and watch them run in circles. And me and Rob just started laughing. Uh, it, we couldn't stop laughing. It was so funny. And I had explained to her what a midget car was, that I grew up watching midgets and sprints run on dirt. But uh, it was so funny when I said, yeah, there's nothing more fun than watching midgets run in circles on a Saturday night. So there you have it. That's my final racing story for you. It's, um, let me get it caught up here, make sure I haven't missed anything. Uh, I used to be a big NASCAR fan. Yeah, J Jason's laughing at my story. It's a true story. As God is my witness, he, uh, I, 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 I said that. And little cars, they are, well, they are, they're little sprints, which is why they're called midgets. Um, okay, guys, I know... Uh, yeah, Jason's saying go to church, Will Button. I know I, I got to run, guys. Um, 
yeah, it's the gas fumes that got in your veins. It's, you know, it's the sound, Chuck. It's the feeling of the, the atmosphere, the crowd, the roaring of the engines, the rush as they go by. It's just, it's, it, you can't really explain it with words. You just have to experience it in person. Hey, Chuck, I met Rich. Very, very uh, good point you brought up. I met Rich a year before he uh, was tragically killed in that crash. Um, I met him at Yuma at a, at a sprint car race, actually. Him and Steve Kinzer were down there running together. And uh, that was awesome. Yeah, I got to run, Donald, myself. I got to run in, change clothes, and head out the door. So thanks for joining me, Donald. I know it's a little bit different, guys. Um, I don't have any other NASCAR cards, per se, so it will, it'll be a while till I ever do anything like this again. It's back to baseball in my regularly scheduled uh, shows. But I want to thank everybody for showing up. Danny, thank you so much for coming in and, and sharing some stories and information. Um, take care. Email me. I will, yeah, tonight when I get home from church, Danny, I'll shoot you an email. And then if you can just respond uh, in kind with uh, what I need to do, and I'll, I'll take care of that. So, Bobby, you take care of yourself. Keep your eyes open in the mailbox tomorrow. Fingers crossed it gets there. So, you all have a wonderful rest of your night. God bless every one of you guys. I love you. Thanks again. And we will see you on Tuesday for my next Take It Back Tuesday show. Bye-bye.